All right, moment of truth here. We're back. We're making a uh, Kydex holster for a CZP10C with a Hollow Sun 407 Charlie and a Surefire X300 Ultra. And oh boy, howdy, I did it right. Nice. Grab another rivet. Send her through the rear end. Nice and toy. Very nice. So now we can take our button nuts, I guess, is what they would technically be, possibly. All right. Run that through the back side of this one, which is super convenient because now I can just close the holster and uh, I don't have to hold that. So that's pretty nice. So now, how does this expect to be? Put on. I'm assuming like this. Got some tight holes in the rubber, and the the button acts as a washer, which is kind of cool. Very nifty. Boop! And I throw it on the ground. Now, we go backwards a little bit, and then forwards. Cool. Alright, so now we got... Probably should have checked to see if the buttons actually snap, huh? Maybe I got it too tight. Let's see here. Might have flared out that button. Nope, oh, there we go. Nope, we're good. Damn, that's tight as hell. Well, I guess you don't have to worry about the dang thing coming off, huh? Cool, so now, we'll see if this works. If not, we're gonna have to do the same process we did for that one. And you can still adjust your height with, uh, by adjusting the holes in this um, belt attachment. So it's not the end of the world if uh, this doesn't line up exactly how I like to carry. Okay. Nope. Oh, I don't know if my 
a screw long enough. I think I got a longer one built somewhere. Hmm. This looks like they're a little bit longer here. But I don't know if it'll fit in the. Nope, won't fit in the button. So it looks like we're going to be forced to run this through singularly. My golly, this, these things are damn tight. You know, I'm no buttonologist, but I don't think you want your snaps that daggum tight. Where's my... Okay, so I want to go look at the bottom. Oh... So these, <laughs> these ones you want to hook it at the bottom and pop up and a hook from the top. Hook at the bottom, hook up. I never claim to be a professional. Man, that's sitting pretty high. What if I... Yeah, but that don't make any sense because it could go over your belt. Because that's sitting at the belt line. Alright, so I've determined that I'm going to have to remake this again. Um, and sink it deeper. Because i got to have... I gotta be able to clip it clear up here. What? I could I can't. That's how that's how people who carry with these freaking belt loops carry is clear up here. Well let's just go ahead and complete this and if we need to we can rob the hardware off later. Alright, so I'm gonna send a screw through here, a nut through there.
So I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to flare this out a little bit, but you know, I'll get the dang concept. So now we got her rounded off. More, more pecker friendly, if you will. It still ain't gonna be the greatest. Well, actually, it sits. It sits pretty damn high. The only thing I worry about is it, it flipping, flipping out. and flared out just a smidge. She still needs some finish work done on her, but I reckon that ain't terrible aside from, like I said, the flipping out part, but, you know, I don't know how, well, actually, I do know how he doesn't have it connected anywhere. What if I did that? This is a T-Rex arm sidecar that I figured out the blocking part from looking at this, I was like, huh, makes sense, I wonder if I could cut this part out, well, it's still poked down quite a ways, how does, how does that line up as far as, 
Can I use the clips for my sidecar? Well, I don't see why not. I don't have two holes in it, though. Well, what are they? Yeah. This. Which I pretty much hate. Got some G codes. Got the tech locks still. I think this is my best option. Let's go ahead. I don't carry this. Because it's. It's just so wide. And. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, this is the same. Pretty much the same width. Well. Well, I gotta. I've got a Ragnarok somewhere. Oh, right here. And I was kind of thinking, like, I could just poke holes for tension there and carry that appendix. And I think it is our mark. I know my sidecar's not our mark, but I think the Ragnarok. Yeah. Ragnarok's our mark. He uses a thicker kydex on this one too. This one's thinner. Well, what do I need for this to be <laughs> our marker? Let me take that down. Well, that's easy. Where's it hitting? Different. It's still catching somewhere. Where the hell's it catching? Optic window is disgusting right now. glass I'm literally taking off like a millimeter at a time here
Cool. Well, that was not even, jeez, close to the point of this video, but uh, there's that. So yeah, I'm going to brainstorm <sighs> this bad Larry. Let's see what we can't come up with. I mean, it's not bad retention at all. It's a little wobbly. And I think it's because it's mostly retaining based off of the uh, flashlight. And there's some slop in the flashlight. Can I fix that? Or just a rail. What if what if I watch this? You gonna know, see some redneck stuff? Next up on Hamsky TV, how to custom fit your surefire light to your pistol. I hate that that worked. <laughs> What's up, CZ? Now hiring custom uh, pick rail maker. <laughs> it took it took a little bit of play out of it. That's hilarious. Y'all are high if you think I'm not leaving that. Yeah. I'm gonna save that and reuse it. Lord knows. I'm going to be making more than a couple of these. This stupid ass can't seem to get it right. Oh man, I went this whole video series without swearing. For those of you wondering, yes, I do have an actual deburring tool, but for Kydex, it just kind of eats, eats through it, and you're better off just using a knife. Yes, Norma. I know you have food and water. What?
Not bad for a weirdo in his basement. I gotta say that. It is gonna ride stupid high though. Well, let's test it. Well, I think it's all right. So I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol and take the Sharpie marks off of it, but I don't suppose you all wanna watch that. So, and I'll probably finish it up with 120 grit. I'm not getting pokies on my packer. But uh, yeah, so that's an extremely rudimentary way to make a custom sheath. Um, kind of bummed that wherever it went, the uh, oh, the Scout Carry Mora turned out so much better. But that's showbiz, baby. If you guys like to see anything else, uh, custom chew holsters. Anything like that, uh, let me know. And uh, I'll see what I can do for you. So, thanks for watching.